Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Aquarius. Um, personal readings will be back open on the 15th. You can also go find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on. You can also find me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, but Aquarius, you are the lucky sign that will get a free gift card here for HelloFresh, where you can get like a free box. That'll be in the comments down below. Only one person can have it because there's only one code. So first come, first serve. All right, where is put that over there? But either way, let's get into your reading and let us see what spirit has in store for yourself. What's message for you and what is coming towards you? Number 42, in each other we find ourselves. Alright, Aquarius, so this card generally talks about is people coming together, people coming into your life. Now these people, sometimes they stay, sometimes they leave, but it's part of your spiritual journey here. Number 7, what must be, shall be. Your last card here. We have number 23, Remedy of the Grandmothers. Alright, so let's have a look at this card. 23. It says, Believe in the formidable power of healing, the transformation that can be provided for all aspects of your being and your life. Medicine comes in many forms, from great spirit to, facility, to facilitate healing of body, mind, and soul, where there's the correction of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for the practical steps to resolve a physical imbalance or deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential. There is no limit to what can be healed through grace. A current of divine healing is flowing to you and through you now. Open yourself up to the participate in a beautiful healing transformation. It says you are on a healing journey. See, that's the reason why these people come into your life, because you are on a healing journey. Alright, it could be healing of yourself, but also feel like healing these people. Alright, which is one big healing circle, you understand? <laughs> um, it says put your trust in the divine genius of great spirit and the medicine of the earth, through which divine healing can express itself. As you allow your spiritual connection to guide your earthly steps, synchronicity, and divine intervention, you'll be supported for a healing journey that will be profound for you. This oracle indicates a healing outcome that will enhance your soul journey. Your soul has healing gifts, and you are meant to participate fully in an exploration of healing that is of interest to you. You're meant to understand how it is that you are a healer in your own unique way, whether that be professionally or in how you are as a person in the world more general, as part of your life journey. Have you been the warrior carrying on regardless of a deep wound that makes your life and work in the world more difficult? Whether this wound is a mind or body, there is guidance that it is time to allow for healing. Through a healing journey, you can become free to proceed more easily, effectively, and joyfully in your life's work. Grandmother medicine typically relates to the use of plants through various disciplines to promote healing of the mind and body. However, this oracle speaks of a broader interpretation. It indicates a time when earthly steps on your healing journey will be supported and guided by spirit for truly inspiring results. Heaven and earth are intersecting, and when that happens, the practice of various types of physical world medicine can become a channel for divine blessing. This divine integration of heaven and earth will transform the way you see and experience the physical world, provide you with a feeling of harmony between the celestial and the earthly, a sense of masculine and feminine energies working together for the same purpose. You will no longer feel divided within yourself, pulled in competing directions, or conflicted about key aspects of your life and belief systems. This is healing. All things coming together in right order, working with rather than against each other, for a loving higher purpose. The commencement for the healing 
journey, whether you are a healer or the patient or both, demands a period of purification and cleansing that will support the release of toxins of body, mind, and soul, so that true vitality, well-being, and divine beauty can manifest unimpeded. The basis of all true healing is a shift in consciousness so powerful that it alters not only the mind, but eventually the soul as well. If one attempts to shift consciousness without adequate preparation, the process can be stabilizing, generating unnecessary disorder and confusion. Even if there's a temporary sense of heightened awareness at first, without adequate preparation, the experience will not be able to be integrated and may result in feeling worse rather than better, without any real long-term change. Now you are called at a soul level to enter a healing journey, so how so can, how can you avoid pitfalls in the opens of blessings? Coming ready for the medicine means preparing for the cure. Also, this is based on approaching the power of Earth with due respect. It's not about trying to force an outcome that you wish, it's about cleansing and opening itself to the gift of what is given from Mother Earth and Great Spirit. It is not about controlling the healing flow, but readying oneself for it to be received. That means surrendering attachment and resting and cleansing the body and mind to practices that work for you. So you are open to certain change that a healing will bring. It means practicing unconditional trust because divine timing may sometimes express kindness through delays. It means gently but surely dislodging your belief in the fixed reality of your own experience. Even if an issue has been present for decades so that you are loose and limber, ready to be reformed, recreated through the healing genius of heaven and earth in an intelligent, creative relationship expressing their unconditional love for you. Alright, Aquarius, see that? So we have heaven and earth lining up for you. You're going through this healing process. It's telling you to be ready for it. Go through this cleansing. Don't try to control it. Be in the flow. Be ready to receive. Alright? So. And also connecting with the earth. That can be through plants, that can be through herbalism, that can be through just going outside, touching the grass, the tree, whatever. It says, here's the healing process you can do. Connect with nature, in person if possible, or by looking at images such as the oracle card image. Listening to nature sounds if appropriate. Imagine, feel, or intend that you are relaxing not only your body and mind, but your soul too. Relaxing and opening to the presence of the natural world. Allow yourself to feel held by this loving, sacred energy. This is the soul of Earth Mother. When you are ready, say the following invocation aloud, if possible. The Divine Healing Presence is now created through the loving union of Earth Mother and Great Spirit. I surrender into the medicinal alchemy of Divine Love at work within all facets of my being now, so that any and all issues of my body, mind, and soul that can benefit from Divine Healing are now blessed for recovery. Through grace of Divine Time and Compassion of Grandmother Healer, I ask to be shown clear steps for my healing benefit, and I may experience true healing and become a channel for such true healing in the world. So be it. And it says, relax, you've completed your healing process. Alright, Aquarius. So, it's a message for you. Now, let's get some room to trust yourself. Aries as a zodiac sign here. All right, look at this. We have double Aries, two Aries. So you could have maybe more than one placement of Aries in your chart. There can be an Aries around you, friend, whatever. You have this moon beetle which you're connecting to. It's connected with the moon, the night the beetle, the stars. You have sun god Ra. You have both. You have this Aztec serpent god. You have this Egyptian snake goddess, which you are connecting to. And what else do we have? We have justice, and we also have authority. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, um, go check out that gift card. Oh yeah, my Etsy shop. You can also find the extended down below in the comments. And if you'd like to see more content, definitely like subscribe. Bye, guys.